Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon. This is Zuhar, and I hope everybody's having a good day and taking care of yourself. Make sure you're drinking water and keep an eye on that mental health. It's important. Uh, just playing some more competitive Temtem. Unfortunately, I haven't finished the new team that I was building, uh, so I'm still going to be playing my team from yesterday and the day before that. Um, I hope everybody continues to enjoy, and uh, feel free to give me any tips or pointers if you guys feel like it. I don't mind getting comments like that, so hope everybody's doing well, and I will get started. Let's go. Okay. Looks like Digicore. Banning Golzi. So now harmful microwaves won't be getting Pryo. Uh, at least I don't think it will. Um... We pick the start. Uh, I feel like if I pick goals, because I, I want to pick goalsy, but I feel like they're going to pick size much into that. Um, so let's pick Minithor. And let's see what they choose. banning next okay um so then we're gonna pick let's pick lawali into that i was thinking tiranak but i want the speed boost on um minothor um Next we can ban Seismunch, but I don't really think we need to ban Seismunch. I think we should ban... I mean, we have access to Tolkien if we need him. Actually, we're probably going to take Tolkien. So let's see, let's ban either... Let's ban Monko. And then we're going to pick... Um, let's pick Platymus. very melee heavy. Melee, 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 melee. This is a whole melee team. Gotcha. I get it. It's a gimmick team. I mean, not necessarily gimmick, I should say. Um, it's a team that has a specific strategy. But uh, let's bring in Golzi. Because Golzi can resist melee. Okay. Like duplicate mi uh, Lawali. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna hasty lunge and plague into Chromion. They might bring in Mushuk here, but I don't. If they do, it's not a huge problem. Hasty Lunch will still do decent damage. I didn't bring Akronox, so um, unfortunately that means that um, Black Hole is going to be at one prio as opposed to two prio. So that's not great, but you know, it could be worse. I'm surprised that they duplicated Luali. I think they might have intended to duplicate Chromion. And I think the delay earlier on was trying to figure out which slot Mimit has to be in when they were choosing Mimit. But I'm not 100% on that. They're taking their time though, trying to figure out what to do, I guess. I'm thinking that they bring in Mushuk here. Oh yeah, yeah, they definitely wanted Mimit to be elsewhere. Okay, and Mushuk. Size Munch, okay, that's not bad for me. Might be reactive vile. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. 
So I think we can expect the sharp stabs into Minotaur. So we're going to swap in Tolkien. And then we're going to swap in... Actually, no. We'll just leave that one. Uh, let's plague the Mimit. See what that does. So Minotaur is still plus three, so as far as speed goes. So I'm not overly concerned about that. I'm glad I plagued into the Mimic, because if Gialis has bait, that would have knocked out the uh, ear for the burn. Yeah, that didn't do much of anything. Okay, who they got in the back? Chromion, Mushuk. Um, let's Fiery Soul into Mimit, and then Plague into Mimit. Oof. That should take it out. And now Lawali has no stamina left, so I'm probably going to have to swap it out. Ow. Mushuk. Okay. We're going to fire Tornado. Actually, Gialis is probably faster, but they just use Hook Kick, so... Uh, I'm going to fire Tornado with Gialis and then swap Lowali out for Platymus. Because at least Platymus is one times too uh, toxic and is immune to getting poisoned. Helicopter kick, okay. Ah, dang it. I didn't think Mushuk was going to outspeed my Tolkien. That's a bummer. Let's bring in Golzi. And Golzi is going to uppercut Gialis, and then we're going to Rotten Goo Gialis. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care, buddy. I switched him in for a reason. Ah, dang it. So Rotten Goo is pointless then. I was trying to knock out the bait. Gialis is fast. Did it not OX for that? Huh. Alright, well, I'm in trouble. So we're going to Hypoxia Mushuk, and then we're going to Water Blade into Gialis. I get the feeling that Gialis is just going to attack into Platymus, and Platymus is going to get knocked out. I mean, he can just Crystal Bite and probably knock out Platymus. But they have Chromion in the back still, and Chromion is full health, but Minotaur is going to knock... Oh, jeez. This is not good for him. And this is not good for the Wally. That'll take out Lawali. Mushuk OX, that's good. That takes out Mushuk. Um. So I'm gonna be at plus four. I believe that's two times. It might be three times, because I think two is two times. It's 50%, three times that. 300 something? I think I can outspeed with Black Hole. So we're going to Black Hole, 
and uh, toxin shower. Actually, you know what? Let's water blade into chromion. Yeah, nice. Evasion, but it's not gonna matter. Ooh, sharp step still outspeeds. I forgot it's at three prio. Crap. Let's toxin shower. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting game, or interesting ending. So we're going to rest Platymus. They're probably just going to rest Gyalis again. We're going to Toxin Shower again. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's Toxin Shower again. I'm pretty confident that Gyalis is going to be faster than Platymus. They're probably just going to Crystal Bite. And that'll probably take Platymus out, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Yup. That's okay, though. It ended up being a little bit closer, but that Gyalis is one of my biggest problems, it seems like. So, I think Gyalis might take precedence over Electric Thames in the future. Because I just don't really seem to have anything that I can use to deal with him. Or maybe I just picked wrong. Honestly, I, I probably picked wrong. Because I could have picked uh, Akronox. But Akronox gets outsped, unless I get some uh, stings off. So, I don't know. I gotta figure out something. Something to do with Gyalis. That or just ban him outright. But I guess we'll see. Anyway, good game. Okay. There's Gyalis again. Let's see, who do I ban? Do I ban Nestle? I don't think I need to ban Nestle. Let's ban Gyalis, just because Gyalis gives me so much trouble. I guess if I had Tyranak, Gyalis wouldn't be a problem. But they banned Tyranak last game. Because I could have picked Tyranak instead of Lawali to start, and that would have probably changed the game a bit. <clears throat> I wouldn't have gotten the speed boost, though, so I don't know if it would have been a better choice or not. And I probably wouldn't have killed Seismunch right out the, uh, right out the gate. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> so they ban Platymus because they want to bring Volcrane in. So if they're bringing Volcrane in, let's bring in... Let's have Akronox to start and see what they do with that. Lawali. Well, Ukama would be an interesting choice into Akronox. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, let's go with our own Lawali. No reason not to. I mean, I could have gone with Tyranak, actually. But that would have stopped Cobweb. Not like I need to really trap in that Lawali, but if I can trap in Lawali, then it's probably dead. I do have to be careful about Turbine from um, Turok, though. Because Turok's Turbine would come in at 3 prio and would probably delete uh, Akronox. It's their, their pick, right? Their banning? Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think we're going to ban Golzi next. Because I'm not really that scared of Nesla. I kind of am, but I'm not really that scared of Nesla. I have Lawali, and if they don't ban uh, Volarend, I'll have Volarend. If not, if they ban Volarend, then I'll have Tyranak. So I have Volarend. So really, they're going to be playing around getting Volcrane into the battle. And I think they're probably not going to do it immediately. Um, let's bring in... Tolkien? No, Tolkien's gonna get completely blanked by Nestla. Hmm. 
Honestly, Tolkien I don't think is a great choice here. But then neither is um, Minotaur, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um... Yeah, there's a lot that uh, Tolkien just can't do anything into. Um, I think we're picking Minotaur here. Yeah, let's pick Minotaur. They bring their Tyranac, which makes sense. Okay, so they don't have Turbine turn one, so I can leave Akronox in, because I don't... They might have a wind attack, but I don't think that they do. So we're going to Sting and then Plague into Turok. Sting into Lawali and Plague into Turok. Maybe I should have stung into Turok. Eh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Holy crap. Ooh, I forgot that uh, the wall he has wind. Wow. Well, um, I'm thinking I may as well leave Tolkien in, or not Tolkien, Akronox, and just take out Lawali, and then Plague into Turok, trade one for two, hopefully. Hopefully Akronox outspeeds Turok in this circumstance. Venom Spread should outspeed though, it's a three prio move, so I'd be very surprised if it didn't, especially at plus one speed. Okay, so they pull out Tarok, or Tyranak. Makes sense. But... That kills Lawali, which means that Akronox is now free to do some damage into Tyranak. I could Tornado. Or not Tornado, uh, Toxin Shower. But that's going to hurt Lawali quite a bit. Bullcrane? Uh, that's not great for me. Um, I think we sting into Volcrane and then plague into Volcrane. Turok, that's fine. Maybe I should have soil steamed it. To, uh, I should have soil steamed. I don't know why I didn't do that. Because he's just going to hook into Akronox. But this way... Yeah. I don't know why... Oh, Soil Steam would have been too slow. Okay, so that was not a bad thing. But Plague is going to knock the Toxin off, which is a bummer. And he's probably going to outspeed my Golzi. Um... Let's bring in Volarend here. Let's bring in Golzi. So Golzi is going to potentially threaten Volcrane, but not really. Volcrane's probably outspeeding Golzi by this point with a plus one speed. So instead, I really wish I had Platymus, because Platymus could drill and take him out. So we're going to swap out Golzi for Volarend, and then we're going to... Uh, I should probably rest Lawali. But I need to deal with Volcrane. We'll Plague into Volcrane. Take the OX. Hopefully Volarend can deal with him. Volcrane isn't trapped anymore. 
but it is low on HP, so let's see, what could they bring in? They could bring in Nesla, and actually that makes sense to bring in Nesla here, or Turok. Um, because if I can feather Gatling into Volcrane, and, well, honestly, Volcrane's not in a lot of danger right now. Because Loali OX'd. So let's, um, let's Purgation Volarend and see what they do. We'll rest Loali. Honestly, I should have swapped Loali out now that I think about it, because they can just fire Tornado, or, uh... Okay, that's not going to do a whole lot, but it traps us both in and drains some stamina, which is not great. Resting Volcrane, okay. Okay, now... I don't know why they rested Volcrane there. They should have swapped Volcrane out. Probably for Nesla. Um... So I'm thinking that they're going to swap Tyrannak out for Tarok and Volcrane out for Nesla. So we're going to Noxious Bomb and Plague into Volcrane. Plague will go first. Okay, it's Turok. Okay, that's fine. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Botanist, so I'm probably not going to kill. Oh, I did kill. Okay, cool. That OX, OX Lawali again. And then we Noxious Bomb into Tyrannak, which does good damage. Nut bar though. Oh, that's why his Intimidator's down. Onto Lawali. Okay. It's one of my good checks against um, Volcrane. Well, not good, because it's still fire type. Uh, let's bring in Minotaur. Volcrane. Okay. We are going to... I really don't want to use Hasty Lunge, but i that's the only move that Volker, or, uh, Minotaur can use right now. So we're just going to... Um, I think we're just going to Feather Gatling into Volcrane and then Hasty Lunge into Volcrane. I'm hoping he uses Hook and not Stone Trench. Crap. I was hoping he'd get greedy, but... Not quite. That's fine. Um, so let's... Because I think they're going to swap out Volcrane for Nesla. Let's Noxious Bomb. Ugh, good lord. Switch out for Golzi. I need Golzi to swap out for Minotaur. I don't think Golzi Hasty Lunge is going to beat Volcrane at plus one or plus two speed. So I'm definitely going to be going uh, attacking into the Volcrane slot. But I'm debating whether I use Noxious Bomb or Feather Gatling. Because Feather Gatling is not going to do much to Nesla. But Noxious Bomb, I don't know if no Noxious Bomb will kill. But I'm going to Noxious Bomb just in case. Then we'll swap into Golzi. Unfortunately, that puts my Minotaur at minus one. So they do stay in. Into Bullerun, I'm guessing? That killed. Oh, that's game. Um, no, no, their Volcrane died in the process. But I mean, I don't really have anything that I can do into um, Tyrannak or Nesla. Like, I have Black Hole, but Minotaur's slow, and Black Hole's one prio. So... Not really much I could do there. Yeah, so I probably lost this one. Let's black hole into Tyrannak, and then we're going to 
Oshidashi into Nesla. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, Water Bleed. Three prior move. Makes sense. Oshidashi did 50%. That's good. I'm guessing Embers. Oh, they rested Tiernak. That's smart. Let's uppercut Tiernak, and then if Golzi's still alive by the end of this, uh, we'll Oshidashi into Nesla. But I don't think Golzi's going to survive. Yeah, and then Embers will take him out. And if not, Waterblade will. Okay, Sharp leaped in. Yep. Well, I tried. Good game. So last game, I think I didn't respect the Volcrane enough. Um, they have an Electric Tem or two, though. So I'm going to get rid of Ragnet. Just because Ragnet blocks my Electric Tems. I need to be careful of Volcrane. They're probably going to be picking Volcrane out the gate. Let's bring Tiernak. See who they bring. Okay. And then we'll also bring uh, Golzi. Do I want to bring Golzi? Yeah, let's bring Golzi. Um... Who do we ban next? Probably Gazma, and then they won't have any priority on their, um, what is it, hidden microwaves or microwave secret? <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. Suffice to say they won't have any priority. Except for Hedgen. Hedgen's always got priority, assuming that it's uh, got to go fast. We're baiting Gazuma. Then we'll pick uh, Lawali. And Volarend. And I think Akronox, maybe? Would Akronox be good here? Because they're going to pick Monko if I pick Akronox. I mean, they could also pick uh, Turok. They're probably going to pick Turok if I pick Akronox. But they could pick Turok if I picked Minotaur too. Which one's better? I think I think Akronox is going to be better in this circumstance. They're probably picking... Yeah, I would imagine that we'd, they would pick Turok. It makes the most sense to me. Ooh, that armor. That looks spiffy. Okay. So I'm probably going to be taking a hook. They might... Ooh, you know what they might do? They might swap an Auhi for Volcrane. We're going to Sharp Leaf, and... I think they're going to swap an Auhi. Because Auhi can take an uppercut. They might just hook. Let's uppercut, just in case. Okay, cool. Let's hope Hook and Sharp Leaf does enough. Nope. How? Not even close. Uh, let's Sharp Leaf, and then we're just going to... Um, let's swap in the Wally. Sharp Leap will take the uh, evasion off. Woof. And then they're going to be using uh, Venom Spread on Taranak next, which is going to hurt. Yeah, it'll probably take out Taranak, honestly. Okay, so here they probably swap in the Wally for Volcrane. Let's outgrowth, and then we're going to hypoxia. No, no, no. Probably swapping up for Aohi or Hedgen. Yeah, so we're gonna hypoxia into Akronox. 
they freaking stayed in. They thought that they would have taken out the Wally. And they talk some shower. Okay, your next should survive that. Volcarine goes down, so outgrowth does nothing. That's a bummer. Oh no, outgrowth will keep Akronox in. But I am in a really bad spot. And it's a bait Akronox. Wow. Tyrannox still alive. Lawali's basically dead. Golzi's basically dead. They got Hedgen and Turok and Owie in the back. Um. Kind of wish I had uh, Minotaur right now. Let's Sharp Leaf Akronox, and then we're going to Plague. Because I don't think I outspeed Hedgen, regardless. Uh, so we'll Sharp Leaf, and then... Uh, <clears throat> actually, let's swap in Akronox for uh, Lawali. Let's see what they do. Oh, I forgot Gotta Go Fast is down. Because of Intimidator. Well, Sharply will do some damage into Turok. Not a lot, but it'll do some. This is a bad switch for me because... Yeah, not a lot of damage, but a little bit. Sharp Leaf again, and um, they probably have they have Turbine up, so we're gonna bring in Lawali again. What turn is it? It's gotta be turn five. It's turn five. Oh, there they both go. And now there are two. But Turbine's down, so that's a plus. Oh no, I have three left, okay. So bring in uh, Golzi and Volarend. Golzi's gonna Oshidashi into Turok, and then I'm going to Noxious Bomb into Hedgen. I mean, Hedgen, uh, let's Feather, Gatling. That's gonna kill Golzi. Yep. Should have thought about that. Forgot that Tyranax not on the field anymore. Well, I lost this bad. I lost this really badly. We're gonna Toxin Shower and uh, Purgation Volarend. Not like Volarin's going to be carrying the team, but maybe Volarin can do something. Akronox, okay. Yep, that'll probably take out Akronox. No, not quite. Get some chip going. Let's sting into Turok, and then we're gonna multiple pecs into Turok. Try and take that dude down. Because I can't imagine that they're keeping Akronox in. I mean, they probably will. But yeah. This person has consistently just kept their Thames in, and it's really worked for them. So that's not. doesn't spell great things for me. Basically nothing. Well, bright side, he's trapped in, so we'll multiple pecs again just to make actually you know what, let's noxious bomb. Because I guarantee that'll do 1.7% damage. That 
That sucks. Give me a little bit of uh, special defense boost. That'll take out Turok. Who's left? Alhi and Hedgen? Yeah, I got I got nothing I can do against them. We'll rest Volarend. I mean, unless they just can't do damage, which I know Akronok can't really do anything into Volarend. So, the question is, can Hedgen do enough damage? Okay, I got a new Noxious Bomb target. Magma Cannon? Oh man, that sucks. That's a burn for three turns. That's real bad. We're gonna Noxious Bomb into Aohi. Yeah, this is all, this is all done. All but done, I should say. I just don't do enough damage. And their Hedgen has Sweatband, that's interesting. Let's rest Volarend, and uh, hopefully they finish him off this turn. They probably won't, actually. Plus two, I'm at plus four special defense. The burn might, though. Not quite. <laughs> Stubborn, stubborn, Volarend. Yep, three in a row, that's rough. Surprised I'm still Division 2. Probably gonna drop me down to Gold 3, though. Good game. Interesting. Okay, so they have Inky and Golzi. I'm more scared of. Probably Golzi, honestly. Let's ban Golzi. Ban Tiranak, okay. So who are they gonna pick? Um let's start with Akronox and see where they go. Probably Shaolin. Maybe Momo. That'd be a good strong opener. They could pick Inky, but I don't think they'd pick Inky. That seems like a really big risk. Even if you have evasion, like, that seems like a big risk. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. So let's pick uh, Platymus, because Platymus has drill. Five times that are Lumas. That's shiny, I guess. Tolkien? Okay. Not sure why they banned Tolkien. Um, I think we ban Inky here. Just stop their electric times altogether. And honestly, it means that they won't have any crystals. So let's pick, um, do I want to pick Minothaur or Golzi? Let's pick Volarin, just because Volarin's safe. It'll allow me to see what their next two picks are, then I can go from there. So I'm pretty sure, oh no, Akronox is going to be on the left, so Akronox is going to outspeed Platymus, which means that Sting will go before Waterblade. 
Uh, I guess I'm stinging into Shaolin then. Or I could just swap Akronox out. Okay, Akronox and... Is that Riken? No, that's the earlier evolution. Um, okay, we're going to bring Lawali. And I think we're going to bring... Um, Minotaur. Just because Minotaur is mental, which is good into the, those two. Or decent, I should say. Yeah, Lawali's got three Toxics to deal with, so I'm not sure Lawali's gonna, gonna be very happy about that. Ooh, those are some cool intros. Okay, so I'm going to swap out Akronox for Minotaur, and then I'm going to Water Blade into Momo, because Water Blade's going to cut through the evasion. And it'll do some bonus damage too, which is nice. I think Drill is like a criminally underrated item. It is so useful. I've never found a situation where... Oh, I didn't even notice this guy, this uh, person is a champion. That's cool. Uh, anyway, sorry. Um, drill, I, I don't really see Drill all that often. And I think that that's a huge underuse of the item. Because I've, every time I've come into a situation where I needed Drill and I had Drill, it just won me the game, basically. This is not one of those situations where it would win me the game, but it'll do something that surprises my opponent, which is good. Okay, let's see, what do they do? Oh, that didn't do much of anything. Oh, so they doubled into Platymus. Platymus is going to help me deal with Ryan, which I can't remember the actual name of the Tem. Uh, we're going to black hole into Luna. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's purgation Minotaur. And then we're going to swap Minotaur out, or uh, Platymus out for uh, Volarend. Volorand is very beefy on the special defensive side. Both of those tens are specially defensive. Not beefy enough, it seems. Whoa. Jeez, that hurt. Um, we're going to black hole into... Momo, and then we're going to Purgation Minotaur, and Purgation should go before Minotaur's Black Hole. Uh, but I don't know if Volorin's going to get a chance to go. But live to hit. Nope. No dice. Bummer. But hey, at least Luna's going to die. Probably. Maybe. Let's see, who are they going to bring out against Minotaur? Probably Akronox, which means that I want to bring in Lawali. Lawali is also especially defensive, so um, Shallant shouldn't be as strong into Lawali. I hope they don't bring in the uh, fire type. I can't remember its name. Riken's pre evolution. They could bring in Lawali, but I don't know why they would do that. So I think Akronox is coming in. Pretty confident. Yeah. So what they could do is they could Soil Steam Minotaur. I don't think Shallant is going to be doing a uh, 
an attack of any kind into Minotaur, because it just doesn't do anything damage-wise. Oh, it might. I mean, their, their Shallant is pretty strong. It does a lot of damage. Um... So what I think they're probably going to do is they're probably going to sting into the wall. And then... Uh, well, they need to get rid of Minotaur, actually. Minotaur's plus two. Let's... Um... Hmm... I don't have a lot of good choices here. Let's swap in Platymus for... So this is going to be a gamble, because what I think they're going to do is I think they're going to swap out Akronox for um, the Fire Tem, lower the speeds, and then um, Shaolin's going to be a problem. Probably going to do Kesagatama into uh, Minotaur. So if I bring in Platymus, then Platymus has Determined, which means it's not going to take damage. Or it's not going to have its stats lowered. So we're going to Hypoxy into Akronox. But I could be completely wrong, and if that's the case, then I just probably took a bunch of damage for no reason. Yeah, I was wrong, so that's not great. Okay, we're going to swap Minotaur back in, and then we're going to Gust into Akronox. I think that'll take out Akronox. And I should outspeed the Venom spread. Yes, cool. Ooh, that does 100 damage base. Just automatically it does 100 damage. It's not too bad. But still, kind of annoying. So now, Akronox is not a problem. Their Akronox, I should say, is not a problem. Yeah, there's Fire Tem. Oh no, that is Raikin. It was hard to tell with the Luma. Um, so if I Black Hole into Shallant, then I can bring in Akronox without too much concern, other than Luali. So I think I'm going to Black Hole Shallant, and then I'm going to swap in Platymus. Because I think Platymus can take a fire attack. I really can't afford to have Raikin get uh, completely loose right now. Maybe I swap in Akronox. I might have to swap in Akronox. Just to stop Raikin from getting the buff. Yeah, let's do that. I don't like it because Shallant's sitting in front of him. But, and my Minotaur is minus one speed already. Or no, it's zero speed. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, that's not good at all. That's really, really bad. Man, if Black Hole had gotten off first. I would have taken out Shallant, and then this wouldn't have happened. Oh, he went after freaking Minotaur? Uh, we're going to... Uh, there's not a whole lot of good choices here. If Luwali has any speed investment, I'm pretty much screwed as far as Akronox is concerned. Ketzalenyu is not going to go first, but... Um, this is bad. I still have Platymus. So you know what? Let's let's P as well Electric Blow into Luwali and Sting into Luwali. Oh my good lord! I was not expecting that to take him out. 
at all. Alright, who's he hitting? Probably Minotaur. Okay, he's taking out Minotaur, that's smart. Now he gets Prideful, which gives him a plus one speed boost, but Riken's still pretty slow, so I'm thinking that a three prio move should be able to outspeed and take him out. Aquatic Whirlwind and Venom Spread. Here's hoping. Because I don't think he's got a three prio move. Okay, yeah, I should definitely outspeed. Oh, no, wait, I forgot I have plus one speed. Oh, okay, cool. Phew. Still outspeeding. <laughs> Yay, a victory! Cool, good game. Oh, wow. Very normal heavy. And I only have one mental Tim, and they can probably ban that one out. Uh, they don't have... They have Minotaur, but I think I'd rather ban Gialis. Um, actually, I don't have any Crystal Thames, so let's ban Minotaur, and then I have two Fire Thames that can deal with Gialis. Hopefully. <clears throat> Not sure why they banned Platypus. Let's pick Volarend. Yeah, I kind of figured that they were going to go for Tyrannac. Volorun's a fairly safe pick for me, because it's at least one times into all of these Thames, and two times into both uh, Calibus and Tyrannac. Hmm. Okay. Um, do I pick Tyrannac or do I pick Tolkien? Um, both Tyrannac and Tolkien. Uh, this one has a Noxious Bomb, I bet, so let's pick Tolkien. I'd be willing to bet that this this one is Noxious Bomb. This Tataru. I do not like seeing Yalas come into this field. It is a pain in the butt. Let's see, who do I ban next? I'm not really worried about... I think I'm most worried about Tyrannac and Yowler. Maybe Vanks. I've seen uh, that Mom Lunch, Mom's Lunch Vanks has been kind of a problem recently. Oh, I bet you this uh, Minotaur, not Minotaur, this Rolder has Cage. And I'm betting this has Plague with uh, Handcuffs. That would be interesting. So it's a late Torment team? That would be very interesting. Um... Let's be in Tyrannac then. And we'll pick Tyrannac in the back. Tyrannac in the back. So I'm picking Luali into this. Just because Luali can do damage into Calibus and can do decent into these two. Not great on the physical defensive side, so not stellar into the rest of this, but it is what it is. Um, do I pick Akronox or Golzi? Oh, I don't have time. Let's see. Let's pick Ak Akronox. I might regret that decision, but we'll see. Honestly, Golzi is such a glass cannon, it can barely take hits. And thanks. Okay. So.
So I don't think that they have anything that can uh, cause late torment to be triggered. I don't think they have anything that can uh, cage my Thames. Uh, but we are going to, let's see, who could they bring? They could bring in Cal uh, Calibus for uh, Gialis. So we're going to Feather Gatling and then Fiery Soul into Gialis. Honestly, that'll probably trigger its bait, which will kick um, Burn off, which means it'll do its normal damage with Helicopter Kick, but I'm okay with that as long as I can do decent damage. But yeah, they, I figured that they would bring Calibus in. Oh, Yowler. Okay, that's okay, too. Get him to get some damage going. Hmm, not really a lot. And he's got Nut Bar. That's not great. Yeah, I hardly did anything. Perfect jab lowers my defense. That's smart. Well, this is a problem. Um... Let's purgation Polar End, and then we'll swap in... Oh, I didn't bring Minotaur. Yeah, and then we'll Fiery Soul into Yowler again. Does Not Power only do 6%? I thought it was 8. That's gonna hurt. Maybe I should have focused on damage, good lord. Bye bye Volarend. Yeah, I should have focused on damage. Hmm. I'm gonna lose this game. That's a bummer. Let's go with Tyrannac. Tyrannac's gonna get rid of both of their abilities. Not like Tataru's ability really matters all that much, but. Uh, we're gonna embers and fire tornado into Yowler, but comebacker will be uh, kicked off. Probably bringing Calibus in actually. I don't know if it would be for Yowler though. Yeah, I've I've absolutely lost this game. There's I look at how little damage I'm doing to Yowler, and they've already knocked out one of my Thames. Mm -mm -mm. Oh well. I'm still going to play it out. Mel the 14th. Pretty sure that's what that is. I think they're debating bringing Calibus in, because if I guess correctly and use Tornado into Calibus, that's going to be a real bad day for Calibus. But honestly, I don't think that I'm going to be... I, I don't see a reason for them to swap out, honestly. They just perfect jab into Tyrannac and then clinch into Tyrannac. I feel like that would be perfect. Yeah, that's what I figured. Fire Tornado. A little bit of damage. Not a lot. Not far, though. Oh, they, they're going after Tolkien. It is not what I think it is. Oh, it's okay. It's trade. Is... Oh my god. We're gonna embers and. Uh... I mean, it doesn't matter which one I pick. Tolkien's probably gonna die. Could swap out for something else. Could swap out for Akronox, maybe. Akronox doesn't want to take a Savage Suplex either. And a Major Slash. Whatever's coming in, whatever's in this slot is dead, basically. Let's Tornado Yowler as well. I can't kill... I ha I'm not able to kill Yowler. If I can't kill Yowler, then I've lost for sure. To Tolkien, that'll take him out. 
than Savage Suplex. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> I can't even take out one of their Thames. This is ridiculous. Uh, bringing in Akronox just because I want the Toxic. Um, so we're going to Outgrowth and then Sting into Yowler. And I don't know, they're probably going to bring in Gyalas for Yowler. Because that just makes the most sense. Then they can Hook Kick into Akronox and kill him. Or Lowali because they can probably Perfect Jab into that slot. <clears throat> Sorry. Interesting. Interesting. It's not what I was expecting. Okay, then Yaws. Calibus. Alright. I can do with that. Tiernak OX for that. Not great. Uh, let's swap in Lawali. Actually, because Tyranak's probably going to be taking a Toxic Ink. There's no reason not to. So we're just going to rest Tyranak and... Uh, by Toxin Shower. I mean, I've 100% I've lost this game. So I don't really lose anything by Toxin Showering. Um, yeah, let's, let's talk some shower. Arcane Rap and Mucus. Interesting. Oh, that's not going to kill Taranak either. That's actually kind of bad. I wanted Tyrannac to die there. Uh, let's sting into Vanks. <clears throat> Again, sorry. Oh, yeah, somebody's watching me get my butt kicked. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I'm getting shredded here. Maybe I should make a team that's like this. Normals are real strong right now. Oh, no, that makes sense. Because Tyrannac's going to die regardless. A right in range for Toxic to take him out. So at least I got one. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Who are they bringing in? Probably Yowler? No, Totter. There's no reason not to, yeah. Uh, we're gonna hypoxia. Actually, let's see what I got. Yeah, I'm just gonna hypoxia, Calibus, and then sting Tataru. Neto X is my Acronox, which is fine. I don't really have any interest in trying to make this work because I. How am I gonna win with two tens against four? And Major Slash was going to kill him anyway. Now, if I were them, I would swap out Calibus for somebody else. Just to make sure that nobody dies. Yep. Gialis. Yep. Heldanger, I think. I think it's got, it has Hel Heldanger up. Perfect jab, okay. <laughs> you don't really need to perfect jab on the Wally. Well, unless I had Strange Vest, which I don't. 
I have double, uh, double screen. Uh, let's just, yeah, we'll plague. Screw it. Yep, that was a really, really not great game for me. <laughs> I did incredibly poorly. Um, I honestly don't know how I could have done better, but maybe the band picks were wrong, honestly. Maybe Minotaur wasn't the biggest threat, and I should have picked somebody else, but I don't know. I'm probably going to end up in gold three by the if I lose the next game, but regardless, uh, that was a good game, and they did really, really well, so good, good job to them. Good game. Well, I'm feeling a bit more competitive uh, today. I'm really uh, kind of amped up after that last game. I really want to do better. Um, I'm thinking that I might work on my new team a bit more and try and get that one done by tomorrow. I'm thinking that I might try something similar with the normals because that did extremely well and I didn't know how I could even possibly do anything against it. So I, I really like that and... Um, so I might, I might try something along those lines. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But regardless, I had a good time, and I hope everybody else did. I'm learning a lot and slowly, hopefully improving. I guess we'll see. <laughs> regardless, I hope everybody has a good night. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and drinking water, and I will see you next time.